Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, family, I want to know what y'all feel about this. Are you, is it a yay or a nay? Um, do you support or do you not? This is a story written by Nick White uh, for the Daily Mail, okay? And um, it's regarding religious leaders in Boston demand white churches give millions in reparations to black residents for owning slaves. Um, I'm all for it. I'm just going to give you my opinion right off the bat. When you look at the wealth gap um, that has been generated through um, government-sanctioned oppression, then there's no way the black family can survive unless we get back what was stolen from us. It is amazing to me that as a country, we go after all seen and unseen enemies and we enact revenge. However, no one wants, sees us as human enough to want to enact re revenge on the people who have stolen so much from us and our family members and our ancestors only down to our names and our birthright and somebody got to pay for that and i think that you know a lot of people want to say why don't we just start from here we can't start from here because you have 400 years of stealing not only from um, Adolfs, but from different indigenous people throughout the diaspora. So a group of activist clergy held an event to ask historic churches to hand over the cash. And since we know that the Roman Catholic Church backed slavery, sent out ships to enslave people, that should be the first place we start. And we still give them our money every Sunday and beyond. These churches had ministers and members who owned hundreds of slaves, backed by organization pressuring the city to pay billions in reparations to black. See, a lot to a lot of people that concept is just insane. What? We gotta play black people? Yes. That life of privilege that you have been living, it's time to pay up. You know, you always hear people say in due time. Well, time is due. It's been due for a long time. And at some point, you are going to have to be reprimanded and made to pay back everything that you've stolen from the black community. It's just that simple. We, You got to run us our check. Okay, I people say, well, well, you don't need cash payments. You didn't say that when you was burning down Rosewood or burning down a, 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 a Black Wall Street or burning down any other town you want to think about, because there's too many to even go into the lynchings, the murders, the thieving of our wheels, our policies, our money. <laughs> y'all think y'all just gonna get away with it? Oh, man. See, and the reason why people don't know that is because their history have not been taught to them. So the activist clergy who called, them, called on them back to push, uh, the, the activist clergy also called on them to back a push for the city of Boston to pay $15 billion in reparations for its historical role in the slave trade. See, this stuff go back. You know, you can't start from today. You owe us too much. And for you to sit back and think that you're going to flunk this wealth in front of our face for generation after generation and that we just a sorry sack of, of people as opposed to seeing how we got here, it makes no sense. So you got to run us our check. One of the speakers was Reverend Kevin Peterson, who wants to rename Fanny Wall Hall Marketplace due to Peter Fallen, or whoever that is, 
the wealthy merchant who built it, being a prominent slave tra uh, trafficker in the 1700s. See the wealth that y'all built off us? And some of you are reaping the benefits and the profits in your family, your generations today because of what you stole yesterday. We call sincerely with a heart filled with faith and Christian love for our white churches to join us and not be silent around this issue of racism and slavery and commit to reparations. We point to them in Christian love to publicly atone for the sins of slavery and we ask them to publicly commit to the process of the reparations where they will extend their great wealth, tens of millions of dollars among some of those churches in the black community. Peterson said, a letter signed by 16 clergymen, both black and white, was sent to churches the group wanted to participate in giving the reparations back to the people. The letter detailed ways the reparations could be paid, including in cash or by creating affordable housing or financial and economic institutions in uh, black Boston. And you, 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 what has to be high priority on the list is that we cannot continue to pay for government-sanctioned killings of black people. We cannot continue to pay taxes and give our money to a police force that castrates us. The churches named in the latter were the King's Chapel, Arlington Street Church, Trinity Church, and Old South Church. These churches were built in the 16 and 1700s, and hundreds of slaves were owned by clergy and their parishioners. Reverend John Gibbons from Arlington Street Church also spoke at the event, saying churches were researching their history and discussing reparations, but that wasn't enough. Somehow, we need to move with some urgency toward action, and so part of what we're doing is to prod and encourage these white churches to go beyond what they have done thus far, he said. King Chapel's published research found that 219 slaves were owned by ministers and church members in hundreds of years of his history. Old South Church published in a report on historical ties to slavery <coughs> and its minister, uh, John Egerton, is on the board with the group's efforts. The Old South is committed to learning the truth about our history and making the repair. For the God who loves justice demands nothing less. Demands nothing less, he told Boston Globe. Baptist leader Archbishop Leo Edward said the U.S. failed to provide the promise of 40 acres and a mule to enslaved people and needed to do so now. You know what the 40, what is 40 acres? The prisons. And the mules are the prisoners, he said. I'm glad somebody's addressing this, especially in Boston. Peterson also singled out the Catholic Church. Ooh. Despite it being banned in Massachusetts until the state constitution was passed in 1870, they unfortunately assisted in sustaining institutionalized racism across the city, he said. Not only are we looking at at a period of slavery, we're looking at three centuries of institutionalized anti-black racism, and the Catholic Church is inclusive of the churches we want to engage. The Archdiocese of Boston said that the suffering of the black community is constantly with us in the Commonwealth and nationally. It would be, it would certainly review what they have proposed in the days of head. Archbishop of Boston Cardinal Sean O'Malley wrote in the blog 
in 2020 that the U.S. government didn't do enough to support black people after the Civil War. I mean, any sane and rational people, person, once they see the history of Adolf in this country, has to support. If they don't support, then you know, these are race baiters. And they somehow have to continue uh, to be ostracized as justice moves forward. Any American who is asked if they are opposed to slavery would strenuously affirm their absolute opposition to this terrible institution. Today, however, we must unite in our opposition to the consequences that this immoral practice has visited on our nation. Amen. The city of Boston, who thought, created the task force of reparations in 2022 to write a report on how the city could dole out reparations to black residents. The city is run by Mayor Michelle Wu, who controversially hosted a no whites allowed holiday party for elected people of color in December. And people were extremely angry about it. I remember. However, time is due. Time is due. I want to know what y'all think. Do you think this is a good gesture? Do you support it? And if you don't, let me know why. I already gave you my opinion. So you don't have to even ask. Anymore. But what say you? What say you? If you like what you hear, please like. Please subscribe. And um, share my channel. With that being said you like what you hear please subscribe and share i'll see y'all in the next video bye bye